It's a saffron room. Wow. Look at that. Thousands of dollars of saffron. I don't need to work next month. <laughs> <laughs> and how much is this here? It's 4,000 euro. 4,000 euro? Oh, just as a base price. That's amazing. You can take it, no problem. Take it. You can take it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> right there. I'm just going to push these out. <laughs> we got my saffron. All right, check it out, guys. It's Trevor James. We just got into Mashad with Mr. Taster. And today, this is a full-on food city. We're going for a huge Persian food adventure. So now we're going to go for Halim, which is famous stew. It's a big breakfast in Mashad. It's really famous in Nisha over at Mashad. And then we're going to go to a local house, which they got lots of food for us. And then we're going to go for saffron. A full-on saffron. Saffron Persian gold. Factory tour. Boop, 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 Let's check boop, 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 it out. Today, we're going into the world's largest saffron factory and going right out to the fields to see how saffron is grown. Worth more than gold. So make sure to watch all the way until the end and leave us a comment below. Let's eat. And here we are, Mashad, 4 a.m. <laughs> Just got in and we're starting the day off strong. Yeah, with Halim. Halim. Yeah. Beef and mutton, wheat, yeah. stew. Exactly. And in Mashhad, the difference between Halim in Mashhad and Tehran is we put Kheme stew in Mashhad. Kheme stew. Yeah, it's really nice. Should be good. Be with us. Let's go try it out. And here we are, 4 a.m. <laughs> we're gonna see how it's made. <laughs> Salam. 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 We're going straight Salam. in. Salam. 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 Oh, so this is where it starts. Oh, that's amazing. Wheat stew. Oh, and this is the beef. Yeah. It's been cooked for three and a half hours. Wow. And they got the fat, and now it's ready almost. Over here. That's the famous stew. We've got lentils, we've got lamb, and we've got onions in it. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, and tomato. Yeah. Oh, and this is where it all starts. Yeah. So we're going to mix that wheat stew. Exactly. With the beef. There we go. That's full. And it's just it's starting to come out the bottom. Wow. There it comes. It's smoothed out. Oh, and he's just adding in a little bit of that wheat water, right? Exactly, yeah. And it's coming right out the bottom. So this is a famous breakfast dish. Yes. You eat and it? It's really he heavy. Bright and early. Yeah. It's really heavy. Yeah. It'll fill you up. Normally they finish about 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Yeah. And look at that. That wheat stew is just coming right out and goes in here. Wow. Look at that. It's just dancing. Yeah, like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, and here comes the beef. That looks juicy. So they're gonna pound this out first? Yes. And then put it in? Yes. So we're manually putting in that hand pounded beef with the wheat. And there it goes. Oh my goodness, look at how thick it is. Wow. I didn't know it's that hard. Yeah. I'm just eating it in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> So you can see we're just adding in scoop after scoop of this wheat into the beef and it's getting mixed in smoother and smoother. And it smells so delicious. And that'll fill you up in the morning. Yeah. That's heavy. Oh, high speed. Oh, and there it is. The wheat and beef stew going right in. So the beef and wheat is gonna get fully mixed in here. It's gonna be hand mixed. Look at that. Oh, and here's the butter. It's gonna go in. Yeah. The butter going in. Oh, that's where it gets the heaviness. That right there is pure butter. This is the finished product here. It goes right in this bucket and it's gonna get dumped in to the giant tub. Oh, and there it is. Look at that, right in. And it's gonna be mixed with the lamb stew. Look at the Halim, we're gonna get our first bowl. There's the butter. Oh, wow. And then it 
it's gonna get scooped out. Wow, look at that. Right in the bowl. There's the lamb and lentil. Look at that. I'm just gonna go right on top. Oh, that's the magic. <laughs> that's the magic. Yeah. <laughs> that is gonna be really, really delicious. Oh, and butter. Yeah. Look at oh, that. It's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. <laughs> oh, and some cinnamon. And some cinnamon. Yeah. Merci. Hoshkele. Hoshkele. Merci. 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 Let's go try it out. Yeah. And you can smell that cinnamon. Oh, it's like a wheat paste. Yeah, look at that. Wow, and I really love the smell of the cinnamon on top there. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and I think that lamb stew they add on top really makes a difference. Gives it a bit of that aroma from the meat, from the light spices. Hele, how should I say yes? It's delicious. It is, oh, merci. yeah. Merci. The Halim song. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and next up, before the factory tour, we're driving out deep into the countryside of Mashhad to see one of the most unique things ever recorded on this channel, the saffron farms of Iran. And here we are, good morning from saffron land. It is 5 a.m. The sun is just rising and we're gonna drive out into the country and see the wild saffron. And we are off and we're gonna go see the flowers open on the saffron. And it's a beautiful sight to see. Yeah. The saffron in the morning. I've never seen it in my whole life. So they, yeah, me neither. Yeah. This is worth more than gold per kilo. Yeah. And it's exported all across the world. Exactly. And we've been traveling for the last almost 10 days yeah. and a lot of the food that we've been having has exactly. had this in it. You know what we think? We think uh, saffron is gift from God. Oh really? Yeah, because you can't grow it anywhere in the world. So we're gonna take a close look here yeah. and then drive to the saffron king's factory. Yeah, we're gonna meet uh, Mr. Shariati. He's real king of saffron and we're gonna see his factory and processing the saffron. And he's gonna cook and then, us a big yeah. lunch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Salam. And these ladies are gonna pick the flower. Yeah. The saffron. And here we are, these ladies are just starting the harvest. Saffron. And you can see we're hand picking the saffron, piece by piece. Wow, look at this. We got a big basket of saffron. That's all pure saffron flour. And Hamid was telling us that 90 kg of the flour produces only one kg of the final product. And look at this. This is pure Persian saffron. So aromatic. Oh, that is pure Persian gold. And look at this, we're deep in the deserts of Persia. It doesn't get any better. And we're hand picking saffron as we speak. And that is so beautiful. This is a full basket of saffron now. Oh, saffron. Saffron only. Hey, Lehu. Zahmat. 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 Special. Zahmat. 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 That's the negin. negin. Only three strands per flower. Merci. You can just drop your sugar into this black tea. Merci. Merci. And we're just hanging out. Yeah, this is the saffron powder. With the... Look at that. Black tea, and you can just add the saffron in. Yeah, look at that. Oh. Ooh, look, <laughs> look at that. that. <laughs> there it is. Wow. Saffron, tea, and sugar. Yeah, and do it like this. Oh, just drop it in. Oh! <laughs> and now have it. <laughs> oh, and now have it. Oh. <laughs> Very delicious. Wow. Drinking gold. Drinking gold. <laughs> so we're gonna finish our tea, yeah. hang out a bit, and then we're going to the factory. To the factory. To see the, how it's processed yeah. and have a big lunch. Exactly. Let's do Let's it. Go. And next up, before our beautiful home-cooked Persian village feast in the countryside, we're going to visit the world's largest saffron export factory. 
And before the saffron factory, I think we're stopping at a pomegranate stop. Oh, and this is the pomegranate garden. Oh, oh, these are all pomegranate. We came to a little pomegranate <laughs> oasis. Yeah. We're on our way to the saffron yeah. factory. And look at this. We got thousands of pomegranate trees. Wow. Okay. And we're just gonna cut that beauty open. Oh, and look at that. It's a pomegranate bowl. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Pure rubies. Mmm. It doesn't get any better than that. And there's no better feeling than getting full on pomegranate. <laughs> and we're going to the saffron factory now. Thank you. Merci. Merci. We're going into the saffron factory, guys. And here we are. Hello. Saffron factory. Number one saffron yeah. exporter <laughs> exactly. in the world. In the world, yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's super cool. And first, before heading down, right over here, into this massive saffron factory, we're gonna have a local dish, the chole. It's like an upgraded halim stew. This is halim? Halim, wheat and beef yes. stew? Uh, yeah, that's the one. And this is the real special here, right? This is chole. Chole. So it's meat, wheat, rice, and beans. And it's for energy? Yeah. That looks thick. It is thick, <laughs> yeah. Look at the consistency there. It takes almost 24 hours to cook it, and you can find it only in Mashad. Only in Mashad. No very. The trolley. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. <laughs> Merci. Thank you. You're most welcome. Thank you. This is really nice. And Mr. Ali here is the owner, the king of saffron. He's going to be showing us around this big factory. Oh, wow. Saffron on the chole. Look at that, you can see the saffron. Mix it together. Oh, wow. Let's try it out. Mmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> This is really good. Poche chole, madame. Poche chole, madame. Poche chole, madame. On the top of Himalaya. Yeah. <laughs> we're going into the saffron factory now. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going down into the saffron factory. Oh, and here it is. Okay. Oh, look at this. Wow, that's the red gold. Oh, look at how fine it is. It's really pure. Yes, yes. This is the best good. of the best? Yes, one of the best. And how much is this here? It's 4,000 euro. 4,000 euro? Oh, just as a base price. That's amazing. You can take it, no problem. Take it? You can take it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> right there. I'm going with this. Oh, is it saffron? It's red, but it's saffron. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's a saffron room. Look at that. This is amazing. Yes. Look at this storage vault. It's cool. It's very good. Cool. Premium quality. Yes, yes. So what's it's, the price? It's one of the best in the... It's a little more, but not too much. A little more? Say it's $3,000. Say it's a euro. $3,000. Three thousand dollars. Euro. Each one. Each one of these. Yeah. So we're looking at a lot of euros right yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty much a... Money right here. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I'm just gonna push these out. <laughs> we got my saffron shopping cart here. Wow! And this is the the production line here, the the packing room. Oh wow! Look at these. And we're going into the sorting yeah. station here. You come inside and have a okay. just return. Rotate. And rotate. Get on. Oh, there we go. Return, return. Here we're going in. <laughs> They're going to Zafran. That's a pretty good name, what is? Okay. 
te juro, ocho más. <risa> <laughs> like a marshmallow. <laughs> so this is where it all starts. First open it. Open it. Oh yeah, there then it is. Then took the, uh, the red part and then separate the red from yellow. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. I got it. So that's the saffron. Yes. Now you should separate from this tree from here. Yes. In Spain, they, they took with the... Yes, it's... Just like that. Is that good? <laughs> <laughs> he win, he win. And Mr. Ali was mentioning that this right here, saffron, can help with so many ailments. Depression helps you feel healthy, gives you energy. And I can see why it's so expensive because so many hours are put into producing every single gram. What an amazing experience to see. The saffron, the big bags, the laboratory, the sorting, the separation. Thank you for having us, it's amazing. Wow, really amazing. Wow. Thank you so much for having us here. You happy thing? You feel happy with saffron? Thank you very much for having us. That was amazing. That was really cool. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. That was really cool. And we're off. And to finish up the night, we're going out deep into the countryside for a very rare Persian village meal. We're just driving out way into the countryside. And here we are. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. How are you? Thank you. Salam. Wow. Oh, and this is where you put your feet under to stay warm. You like that thing? <laughs> so we're gonna have some kebabs yeah. and music. <laughs> exactly. Oh, and here we go. Kubi day. Kubi day. We're gonna have kubi day with this beautiful music. We just got in. Look at that. Here we go, Kubi Day, <laughs> right on the grill. It doesn't get any better than that. Oh, and those Kubi Day, those are ready. Look at these, sizzling and loaded with fat. And downstairs is where they're cooking the traditional food. Hamid was saying he hasn't seen it in 20 years. Oh, salam. <laughs> salam. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> what we walked into was a purely magical village kitchen seldom seen anymore. With so many dishes being made in front of our eyes. Like this rich walnut stew and this curd and eggplant and mint stew. Wow. So this is the solid curd and it's going to get liquid coming out of it. And it's going to go in with the aubergine. Aubergine with curd. Yeah. Wow. So that was solid curd and now it's liquid. Oh, and it's going right in. That's eggplant, tomato, onion, oh, mint. Wow, and this is the osh. That's the Persian noodle mint stew. Oh, and this is just amazing. We've got a ton of different local specialties here. We've got the gosht. Look at that lamb right on the bone. Here we've got a lentil stew. This is that pistachio walnut herbal stew and then we've got pure meat over here as well and this is just amazing mm -hmm. grandma is cooking up some amazing rare persian food yeah really completely different very different experience this is uh, wheat and milk wheat and milk and that's going upstairs wow <laughs> and that's just one of five or six different things look at this it's all laid out all of these dishes in this beautiful Persian village home. And we got a lot here today. Yeah. We got local bread. Yeah. It looks like it's full of whole wheat. Exactly. And what else? We've got this lentil and milk. Yeah. This is aubergine with curd. This is gourmet khorasani. The pure gosht. And then we've got the rice with yeah. wheat. Wheat, yeah. Right? And this is uh, ishkana bane. Which with the wild pistachio, walnuts, walnuts 
Spices. Spices and onions. Oh, wow. And mint, isn't it? And mint. Yeah. This is the kubi de. That's the, uh, that's the, the kubi de. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a meat blanket. And what's this here? This is ashrashte. Ashrashte. Yeah. Oh, you loved it. The Persian noodle yeah. dish. The herbal noodle dish. So look at this homemade gourmet, which is with bones. With bones. Yeah. The juiciest meat. It's the juiciest meat in the ever. world. Cooked in its own fat. Yeah. Exactly. Let's try it out. <laughs> Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's the most tender meat in the mm. world right there. And now it's time for the kebab. Yeah. Let's go for it. The kubi de. Take the, the oily bread, take the oh. kubi de. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Mm. It's pure lamb flavor. Exactly. Fatty, melt in your mouth. You barely need your teeth. Yeah. <laughs> oh. And there it is right there. Aubergine, curd, tomato, mint, onion, yeah. mint. I love how everything has an herbal, minty flavor. In exactly, Iraq. yeah. And this is village cooking style. Yeah. And you just dip that up with bread. Yeah. Let's try it yeah. out. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and this is next up. Yeah. The eshkene. The eshkene. Which is that pistachio, walnut, mint. Yeah. Sauce. White right? pistachio, yeah. White pistachio. Yeah. Like this. Oh. Take the bread. Wow. That's a crispy bread. Yeah, crispy bread. Oven baked. Uh, yeah. Oh, and then just mix it all up. Yeah. And then it soaks up the sauce. Yeah. And you go for it. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. It's really nice. It's really nice. It, it, it feels nutty. Exactly. And bitter. Yeah. And minty. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, and here's the pomegranate. Wow, that's beautiful. Look at all the big seeds there. Yeah. And everyone's just sharing it right now, finishing up the meal. <laughs> this is a truly amazing place here. The best pomegranate in the world. Yeah. In Iran. That is top quality. Wow, nice presentation there. Doesn't that look beautiful? Yeah, it does. Let's try it out. Oh. Oh wow. Oh, it's, it's so good. juicy. Yeah. It is. Oh, it's just bursting. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Gotta give a big thanks to Mr. Taster and of course Ali, Persia tour guide from Pishkar Avolan. You guys can check out cometopersia.com if you're thinking of coming to Iran. They put together this amazing itinerary for us. It's been you're a life-changing experience. Thank you. Gotta give a big thanks. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks Thank a lot, guys. Thank you. Leave us a comment down below. <laughs>